Hello, everyone, and welcome to another very special video with Dr. Tufi, the founder of Hypercycle. And today, we are going to ask him anything about his project, Hypercycle. And we asked all of you, the community, your top questions that you wanted to ask Dr. Tufi. So today, we're going to ask him all about Hypercycle. And make sure you smash the like button and watch the other video that we made with Dr. Tufi because he explained everything about Hypercycle. So, Dr. Tufi, how are you doing today? Excellent. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Um, I guess the first question is, how would you describe hypercycle to a teenager? Uh, why teenager? Can it be like a nine-year-old, seven-year-old? Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess that's, a, that's what the community wanted. But yeah. All right. Kid. No, this is great. Okay. No, uh, I think it's actually extremely simple to... Uh, explain things when you make comparison to certain things that people understand and know very well. Um, there's something that everybody knows is the internet. Everybody knows how the internet works and what it does for homo sapien. Um, most people that are watching today, they're homo sapien. In the near future, they would be a mixture of homo sapiens and AI or whatnot watching this. But if you're homo sapien watching this, you know that the way the internet works and it provides you with the capability to cooperate with almost anyone on the planet. Uh, it enables that to a lot of companies as well when they have a lot of employees. So the employees themselves, they can collaborate with other people outside of that organization. They can um, work with other people outside of the organization. They can do also work. They can higher and they can get hired. They can do both. Uh, so this thing specifically in the world today doesn't exist for AI. It doesn't. Currently, if you were to look at any AI engine, comparing the engine to a company, company has 200 employees. That AI engine has 200 different uh, AI agents or whatnot, or modules, whatever you want to call it, if we were to call it agents. Those agents are kind of like the people, but those agents, they don't have access to the internet. They don't have access to ask the world any question, nothing. They don't have, they're confined to that container. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anyone in the world wants to ask them question or need them to do some work or whatnot, cannot, you have to go through the whole engine. So. Uh, the analogy here that I use, if you're living in this world, you know how like uh, companies operated before the internet, they're just confined to their own environment, then they enable their employees to have access to the internet. The employees now appear to be smarter because they can ask and hire people, recruit from all over the world and have access to the internet uh, for resources and all kind of stuff, whether they are automated resources or whether they are uh, through people, through knowledge base, whatnot. And in the same time, not only get more intelligent, they can also make more money because if they were to be available, their services may not necessarily be utilized inside that same entity, but maybe someone else wants their services. How can you do that in a way that protecting those employees in a way that they don't get um, spammed and harassed and all that? So you provide them with the internet uh, in a way that it's secure. And that's precisely what Hypercycle provides to those tiny little agents. So they're right. capable of now have, have access to the entire internet of AI. And that's what we mean by internet of AI. It's not the AI on the internet. We already know that, that existed for a long time. It's more uh, the same way we have internet of Homo sapien, which is the internet that you know it. But now there's this thing that we're all creating together, all homo sapiens created the internet of AI. We enable that tiny little thing that enables any agent to talk to any other agent that they don't necessarily know each other and collaborate, cooperate, and compete. So you basically solve two problems in one. You're connecting the AI agents to the internet, and at the same time, you're connecting them to each other also so they can benefit from each other. Correct, correct. So, yeah, so that's effectively, if you are running an AI company, you want 
perhaps uh, your AI to get smarter. Yeah. Um, or you want your AI to make more money. Mm. You know, or both sometimes. Uh, that's that's big, precisely what HyperCycle does. The very big market that we're going after. Um, Absolutely. Great. What's the, because we have like, I think about 14, 15 different questions. So we got to try to um, cover them quickly. So like the sure. advantage of being a node owner for HyperCycle, um, what would you say are the main advantages of someone running their own node? Um, the main advantage for someone running their own node is that they will be able to partake in uh, the new wealth creation that is being created in the world. Uh, we, I mean, with or without uh, them, it's being created anyway. Like there's a new wealth that is being created that is likely to surpass the existing, the entire existing wealth in the world today in a very short period of time. Uh, many experts they say it's like within the next six years, we're going to have more new wealth that is being created that is larger than all the wealth that we've had in the entire history of humanity. If you want to quantify things like uh, IMF, they estimated the entire world to be worth $3.2 quadrillion. And it's also estimated that within the next six years, the entire world would be worth $7 quadrillion. So there's this $3.8 quadrillion that is being created that is brand new. Of course, some of it is inflation, but a big part of it is new wealth that is being created. So uh, if you want to partake in that, you have the ability to do so. Uh, by either being a node operator or node owner, or you know, you you may want to partake in the creation of that wealth because that wealth is not being created by a single person or by single entity. Uh, it's not only being created by uh, hypercycle. Hypercycle is a facilitator to those to talk to each other. But the the method that we've created, enabling folks to be uh, node owners or operators or both. Uh, is, is so that we can have everyone on this planet, if they wish to partake in that creation, they can. They just have to decide that they want to partake in that creation of wealth. And that is extremely crucial because that's, if you heard my talk about a month ago, uh, when I was uh, had the keynote uh, speech at the, BGI summit, the Beneficial General Intelligence Summit. Um, and I did say that we cracked the code, the two codes. One is that capability to enabling AI agents to talk to each other without having to depend on a third party. Okay. This is something that I said it in front of a lot of AI scientists, and I say it again in front of every single AI scientist in the world or every single computer scientist. That is That's the one thing. That is the one thing and that, that tiny little thing that we did and we did it in a way that by the time we have network lock in, it, it becomes fully open source. Anyone can use it because we're not going to take on the entire world. People, they can have those from in many different places. Um, so that's one. The number two that we, we, we feel strongly about is uh, the ability to provide the incentive for homo sapien to partake in this because homo sapiens are not incentivized by uh, only being altruistic they're yeah. not incentivized yeah. by by only greed there's like fear greed need love and altruism so they're not all wanting but so we we try, we address all those five elements and then that way if you don't have the money to be the node uh, owner, you can be node operator. If you don't have the time to be node operator, you can be node owner. If you don't have the time, you don't have the money, but you have the the capability to uh, 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 what, what do you call it, like sponsor, found uh, you know, uh, then uh, you you could do that if you have the capability to uh, breathe, but you and the will to partake in the Internet of AI. We want to enable that in a way that it is beneficial to you that addresses all those five elements, fear, need, greed, love, and altruism. So, so it's like uh, uh, something that you're doing that can benefit you, your family, can get you to get into that whole uh, wealth uh, creation, but at the same time can 
uh, help certain elements on this planet Earth. You know, this is where the altruism comes and uh, the fear, how you can have uh, AI built by all of us. So if we were to get to AGI, all of us, we were to get ASI, all of us, it's a lot safer than having a single entity get to it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's wealth creation, wealth creation in a fair and decentralized way, which is very cool. Kind of like what Bitcoin was trying to do. Um, that's nice. So, like, will the revenue be paid in stable coin or hyper cycle tokens? So, so that depends on a lot of the uh, de de uh, deployers and uh, what you call them, like the buffering folks. Uh, so, there's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, the reason why I'm saying this is because, for example, there's an entity. Uh, uh several entities that they came in and they said like well look there's two types of people there's people that they don't mind the complexity and uh up and down and some time you have a business that can have a lot of revenue so okay that's one but then the other type that they want certain stability you want mm -hmm. to run the node and you just know what you can control you can keep the node up 24 7 connect the internet and you you're happy receiving 180 dollars for the node so those entities that came in and said like okay well we want to provide that stability in whatever currency that they want they want us dollars give it to us dollars they can provide whatever methods that they would want it to receive they provide them with that and it is basically conditional on what they can control. What can you control to keep the node on 24 seven? That's all, that's it. that's it. Like those devices behind me, grandpa can power those, a teenager can power those, a nine-year-old can power those. In fact, I had a nine-year-old installing those for me. So I'm just saying, it is very, very powerful to enable people from um, you know, all walks of life to partake in this. And uh, yeah, so so then, those entities, they come in the middle, they can provide those as options. And uh, why would they do that? Are they being like nice people, just nice? Of course, they're also driven by fear, greed, need, you know, love and altruism. And it's effectively these, these entities, they figure that if they handle the complexity on this side, they mm -hmm. can uh, uh, capture a lot of rewards. So... Uh, if they own the, what we call it the hyper share, the hyper share is a combination of the license after license that they have somebody purchased and the tokens. You put them together. We call it the AI marriage. So you marry marry them. That gives you the ability to have that node started generating revenue on one side and started becoming, you know, more intelligent for for the software for the AI that it runs. So so that's something that is very 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 powerful. Um, so effectively when you have those things that they're being provided and people that they are, uh, benefiting from those, they, they feel like that this is, is a business that is appreciating in value. What do I mean by that? Uh, you know, how we said that if you would deal with complexity, people don't, don't want to deal with complexity. Think about the people that don't want to deal with complexity. Somebody want to run a coffee shop. That business existed long before uh, the wealth creation existed long before even electricity. So if you run the coffee shop and you take care of it, you do very good job at this coffee shop. Um, but all you care about is that the money that you spend to buy the beans and electricity and rent and tools and all that and salaries is that your cost, your revenue is a little bit higher. The Delta is your profit. So if all you care about is that tiny little profit, that's, uh, that's okay. Some people, that's, that's all they want to care about. That's more like you don't want to be dealing with complexity. Yeah. But then you walk around 10, 20 years, 30 years later, you look, look around, you're like, wait, 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 what happened? I'm the one who's been working days and nights at this coffee shop. Look at these guys. Like now they have like the, the, the banks, they own the city, the, the, this uh, franchise that they gave it to me. It's called Starbucks. I'm the one who opened Starbucks in London, England. Look at them now. They've have their market cap went up by like a you know a hundred million dollars. That's all because of me. Okay. So on that side, basically, there's that wealth that is being created because if you're taking care of that coffee shop and you're uh, uh, getting that revenue, the coffee shop itself has a high, higher value than it did before. 
And if you have that higher value than it did before, perhaps you want to capture that. So a node owner has the capability of capturing that. Mm -hmm. But if they choose not to capture that, they want just like the stable things, those guys that they come in in the middle, they say, here, we'll give you the $180 a month. You keep taking $180 a month, but we get that wealth that is being created. Based on their calculations, if you were to look at what they've done, effectively, uh, starting with one node, and they have the entire math that, that, that back it up. Starting with one node, and we can do it together here very quickly. It's actually super, super easy to do it. Mm -hmm. um, with one assumption that this node, uh, on average, is making uh, revenue $10 a month. That's it. That's it in revenue, in AI. Okay, mm -hmm. so we starting with that one node, they're able to build a business with an average of 10 years that is $1.2 million. 10 years is a lot less than most mortgages. And $1.2 million is a lot more than most mortgages as well. And that's something that people have the ability to partake in it. So, so the reason uh, why this is important to be explained to those that they decide to make the $180 is because the transparency gets people to make that as a decision. Like, do I want to make that $180 a month and walk home? Or do I want to actually build that uh, uh, wealth uh, creation? And uh, yeah, so, uh, so 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 doing that quick math. May I? Takes like two minutes. Yes, okay. Please. So uh, what we have shared with everyone on the planet is the, the we've embedded the math inside the network node that no one can stop that from happening. That's one of the benefits of decentralized governance is that your node can give you the ability to unlock its potential to become up to 1,024 nodes. The way this can work is analogous. So if you, it's, it's as if you bought the franchise for an entire city of a coffee shop. You, you have the franchise of all uh, London area for Starbucks. Okay. The only way you can unlock uh, that into 1,024 coffee shops is this, if you start with that one and it has a very good reputation, proven uptime, it's not like you open at noon, close at 2 p.m., you know, that's not a good uh, uptime. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you have uh, provided a lot of service of coffee. It's not like, uh, hey, you service only one cup of coffee, you get good reputation from your mom and you're like, hey, I'm done. You know, it's actually you have like, 10,000 cups of coffee that you're servicing, whatnot. So if you have all those three elements, which, you know, then in about six months, the system enables you to unlock its potential on its own. So then now you have the ability to have to, without having paying anybody anything, this is all yours. No hypercycle, yeah. nobody's saying, this is all yours. Those nodes, now they're known to the entire network that they have a ratio of one, meaning that they can actually start generating revenue just as if you have two different locations of Starbucks that can service 10,000 cups of coffee each and all of this stuff. Wow. Same thing. If you continue with that business, you get to the point where you have 1,024 and that's when you saturated the entire city of, uh, of London. Now, if you actually own 1,024 coffee shops, what's the how much is that worth? Probably a billion dollars, right? And, and that's all yours. This is not hypercycle. This is not me. This is not, it's all yours. So if that's all yours as a node owner and you're willing to give that away to a third party company so that you can get the, uh, uh, the other uh, $180 a month. In, so $10 per node per month is $120 per year. So if you were to ask, call right now, any private equity person, say like, if I have a recurring revenue of $120 per year, how much is that business worth? They say, without telling me anything else, I can do the quick 10X multiplier. If you tell me if it's AI, it's more, but let's say, let's say it is just 10X, okay? Mm -hmm. So if it's $120 a year, that, that means the business is worth $1,200.
okay? Now, if you look at the entire thing, what is it doing as well as unlocking its potential to get into 1024? So if in a period of five and a half years, you could get 2024, if in a period of maximum 15 years, you will get 2024 so long as you have the, you're, you're doing an okay, mediocre service, you're that coffee shop that sometimes you spill the coffee, sometimes whatever, but you're still opening, you're operating. So, but if you take the middle, is like something, let's say it's 10 years. So if in 10 years you have 1,024 uh, uh, nodes that they're generating $10 per node, Per month in revenue okay so that's about ten thousand dollars per month that's about one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year a recurring revenue one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year is worth what 1.2 million and what did you start with one Literally like right so of course somebody would be like i don't have the capacity to spend one thousand and two hundred dollars on those well there are also other companies that they come and say like you pay me hundred dollars a month and then you get to do that. So then basically it's like you subscribe to it. Yeah, some people, they say it's like, there. right. Some people, exactly, exactly. It's like rep share. Some people, they say, well, what if I want uh, two nodes? One, I put it that I capture all the wealth myself. And the other one, I use it to uh, receive the $180. So it kind of pays 100 here and then 80 there. So I'm like, ah, for only $20. Now I have one that's brilliant. This is the brilliance of people. Exactly. Instead of doing one, they do two because the effort to do two is only like 20% more than doing one, you know? So, so that's, uh, and there are companies that they provide you with those. They say, just subscribe. Like you don't have to pay anything. Subscribe first. Subscribe just for money, $180 a month. The subscription is $100. So you make 80. If it makes you 80, you pay me 100. Makes you another 80. Makes you... But then at some point you're like, you know what? Send me another one of those devices, and I'm gonna send you the hundred dollars. And I don't, I don't, I don't want that hundred eighty. I want to capture the wealth myself, right? Yeah. So, so, so it's uh, that's if it's those devices. But you could do a lot of things in the cloud too. You don't really need to have these devices. You can actually buy the node, put it in the pool, let someone else worry about where they put it, and all the stuff. So it's, I'm just, I'm pointing at this just because it happens to be behind me. So. I like how you're trying to illustrate that anyone can start small and then slowly start becoming a bigger player in the community. So there's right. no excuse that, oh, you don't have money or you don't have enough money. Like anyone can start, which is amazing. Right. Uh, very so this is, a, this is a question from the community. It might be a little bit um, of a sensitive topic for HyperCycle, like the company itself, but like how many clients would you say you already struck a deal not sensitive at all i'm happy to share as much as we we can without divulging other people's uh, thing i can tell you uh, up until now we have sold 371,000 nodes every wow. one of those nodes they have the hunger for the hypc they need 1024 hypc to actually turn on the light you they need 300, more 371,000 wow Wow, that's yeah. crazy. So, so uh, uh, that's uh, three hundred and seventy-one thousand nodes. The way we sell them is using bundles of five hundred and twelve. And if somebody's like, "Uh, oh, they're probably exaggerating, and whatnot," okay, well, there's something called like public ledger-based blockchain. We're using those as licenses, uh, using NFTs, and people they can go and look at the combination of of uh, blockchains that we use to license, and they can see it's like, "Holy shit, these guys are for real." So, we use the proceeds of revenue as well to invest into like a lot of uh, companies, including like that ring that I showed you last time, including this one. We've, uh, we've uh, up until now, we've invested in 14 different companies. And uh, there's actually, the ring is now uh, going through, why, why, why the ring? We're in AI, but why the ring? Well, you know how we said we want to enable every homo sapien to partake in that new wealth creation? What do homo sapiens have? Hands put security yeah. in people's hands, literally. This is what's gonna secure your wealth. Is you, if you're gonna get the devices gonna make you $10,000 a month, somebody's gonna wanna rob you. Well, we know security inside out. We want you to be as secure as possible. Start getting those rings. They give you the, uh, this added security. Nobody's gonna be able to take 
your money if you don't have to you know if you don't, if you have a proper security so imagine in order to to take that money from the nodes you need to just use your device somebody hacks into the device is gone but imagine in, on top of the device you have to do that tap mm. some code that nobody knows or tap and then you change it to another nfc there's different nfcs we embedding technology in there that has an average life of 330 years that's a little bit more than most homo sapien would live or expected i guess it is more right yeah yeah so, so uh, yeah so anyway point is that uh, that we we we're using the proceeds of the revenue to invest into a lot of companies and um we're super excited to be here of service to uh, truly to to all humanity we're here to make friends along the way we're here to uh, uh you know provide this to any to anyone who really care about like a, be a better future uh we we dropped our ego from all angles and we're like let's service humanity as much as possible uh and uh yeah like if you were to look at for example at some of my talks i've been a public speaker for quite some time in fact before COVID, in one year, I spoke in 80 different events as an invited keynote speaker. And uh, you would notice that when I'm speaking, I'm always telling the, the truth in a way that sometimes um, it may not necessarily be uh, good to some of the audience that they have. Uh, they're, they're working about like uh, some project that may not necessarily be, um, you know, uh, good in one way or another. Like for example, if you have the bankers and you're saying certain things that bankers are not uh, good, if you're saying something that certain ledger-based blockchain is not necessarily that great, then you're you're just talking about the truth, but it could potentially hurt those businesses. Instead, yeah. with hypercycle, we've decided that you know what, if you're a banker, this is how you do business. I'm not gonna step in your territory. Do whatever what you do. If you're ledger-based blockchain, I'm not stepping in your territory. Do whatever you need to do. I'm here to pro to provide certain services for certain things that are happening, with or without you or without me. Certain things that are happening in the future, and those things they're they're going to exist in that wealth creation. You can even partner with me, and we're going to go and do it together. We're, I don't really need to go and take anything from you. You don't need to take anything from me. We can do it together. So that's effectively. The angle that we've taken with hypercycle, we we truly want to uh, be that uh, tiny little piece that is missing in the internet of AI to become an enabler. Because everybody, we're all creating internet of AI. This is not just me. This is you, me, and every Homo sapien that is that is uh, uh, alive today. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that you're working also with, like you said, with banks, with healthcare companies, IT companies, like any type of company can benefit from this and. Um, some of the questions um, and that asked me anything had to do with like, what type of companies can we work with or what type of services can we provide as uh, node operators? And I think you already kind of answered that question in today's call yet last month's call. Um, basically mm -hmm. any industry, any company in any field can benefit 100%. from this. 100%. Same way. They, oh, always think about it this way. And I said that to to the guys that are working in hypercycle we started being three people or over 300 people you get that question many times how do i explain it always think about it this way what did the internet do to the homo sapien we're doing exactly that to that agent so if you were thinking about it that way what type of services you know can an old owner offer well what type of individual are you uh, an accountant are you an engineer whatever you can use the internet for all the above there is no restriction. The internet doesn't come and say, well, you're a dentist. Don't come and use me. Well, pff, I want to use it. It's, it's, <laughs> you can be in any industry, literally. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so I guess we have like two more questions because uh, the time is about to run off on this Zoom call. True. Uh, try to keep them very quick, but will hypercycle release a detailed roadmap soon and if so when uh so we have several different roadmaps for uh that uh, we've shared and released for the for, for for the parties that they are uh reliant on it because they're building certain component that they want to use it for something specific someone else 
uh, for something else. But uh, the uh, overall uh, plan, um, I uh, I don't want to say that I am guilty as charged that I didn't do it. I want to actually say it with a lot of pride that we didn't do it because I can tell you this with 100% certainty. If I did have a plan when we launched this thing, we opened HyperCycle Doors October 2022, and in a year and a half, we've already got a lot more revenue than anything that we've raised in, in, in money raising, and we've already accelerating quite rapidly at many different angles. I, I can tell you with 100% certainty, if we did have a plan and stuck to the plan back then, we would be a lot less than what we are today. Again, if you were to, to look at some of my videos 11 months ago when we went to that uh, TGE thing and why would we go to the GE, people understand that if somebody wants to enable those nodes to, to talk to each other or whatnot, you need to provide them with the capability to transmit that information. That capability has to be connected to some sort of uh, a thing that is called money that homo sapiens will identify to be money. Otherwise, those nodes can be making up their own money. So we went with that TGE. And even then, when you look at like what I have uh, said and uh, when do we release certain elements, we've been... Uh, delivering things way ahead of schedule because we didn't have an actual plan that we need to actually stick to it. Uh, so I feel like uh, uh, having uh, folks that they have hired in the past, uh, the, the thing that they call 10X engineers, they understand what I'm saying. Like it's basically you give uh, uh, people some flexibility and you're able to get uh, a lot further with the things. It's, uh, it's kind of like race car driver, right? You don't want the race car driver to give you every single angle of what they're doing. You just want to know, are they really good at driving that vehicle? And Emma, yeah, so are, can, are they confident? So you can... What's that? Yeah. yeah sorry, I was going to say, like, you, you just want to know that the race car driver is good so you can bet on it and win some money. So it's kind of like... The same thing with hypercycle. I don't think the community needs to know like every little detail of everything because um, projects can easily put up a roadmap on their website and say, we're going to do one, two, three, but actually doing it is more important. So I think there are right. more important things than the roadmap. Um, right. The objective will always cool. be so the, the last same. Question the objective in... is enabling Homo sapiens to partake in that wealth creation. Uh, the, the objective is enabling... AI to talk to other AI without having to depend on a third party. All of those things were always, we're never going to uh, steer away from that and we're going in that direction. But you know, the saying, there's many roads that lead to Rome. So we're trying to take the, the shortest path as, as quickly as possible and we're uh, doing it with a lot of fidelity. Very nice, very nice. Sorry, so last question. It's the last question to try to summarize all of this up um yeah can you hear me yes yes can you hear me yes okay perfect um yeah so we have like for like four mm -hmm. more minutes so we gotta try to i like the effect um mm -hmm. hopefully this question we can answer it very quickly but now with the new asi alliance with the artificial super intelligence alliance and with what's happening with agi and fetch and ocean um does HyperCycle's role with Singularity Net, is it being changed in any way? And if so, how? Well, uh, I mean, Singularity and Toda together partner to create this thing that is called HyperCycle. It's like you have two parents and they make a baby. And, um, and sometimes mm -hmm. the baby is not happy uh, that, uh, the, that the parent is uh, so excited about this uh, a new um, a car that the parent bought because the child would be like, what? I thought you're going to get a Ferrari. Why are you getting like a, a Fiat <laughs> or, or Civic whatnot? So, so, but that's okay. Like those are like actually steps along the way. And I think uh, a Singularity, uh, they can have uh, those uh, partners together uh, they would perhaps uh, enable those partners to understand some of the benefits that they have. Uh, you know, if they have that uh, a child who is likely 
uh, to uh, uh, get uh, to, to power every single homo sapien. That's a huge, huge thing to say, to be proud of. It's a, it's a child to be extremely proud of, regardless of whether those uh, they end up doing that partnership or not. That partnership might succeed, might be bad, they may, might be at their detriment. You know, uh, parents, sometimes uh, uh, children with parents that they are, uh, let's say, separated, end up getting some partner. The partner can be good for the family, can be bad, whatnot. I can tell you this with 100% certainty, though, that child is to be proud of. And we're going to be launching that child all the way through. And it's like, it's looking like, uh, uh, you know, uh, about a year ago, we we took a stand, all of us, and said, like, we have we we have a shot for a trillion dollar a thing and it's called hypercycle so let's stand behind it let's back it all the way through and we are doing it because we don't want uh, uh our parents to be looking across the river or across the lake or whatnot and seems like oh look at that amazon is trillion dollars microsoft is a trillion dollar what about us why are we getting all excited about a seven billion dollar or whatnot well uh that's okay this is great perhaps it's a good milestone Perhaps it's not. Time will tell, but I can tell you with 100% certainty, we're here to back this child called HyperCycle all the way through. And this child is capable of servicing all of those three with a lot of fidelity. Any one of those tokens, if they really want to have the utility, Ayman, they need to have the peer-to-peer. That's what we're here for. We're here to service everyone. So so hopefully it'll work out to the better and uh, we're here to stand behind it. I love that. So I mean, no matter what happens with ASI, with AGIX, you'll be there to support them. But also HyperCycle 100%. has its own mission and its own goal. Basically, it's a Absolutely. kind of a separate Absolutely. entity, although you work with it. Very yep. nice. Very nice. Um, Thank I love you this so video. much. And I think we have yes. literally only like... Likewise. So. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tu. You I take hope, care, brother. I hope you guys also all loved it. Leave your comments. Below, leave your questions down below. Um, smash the like we button. We can have us three, four, as many as you want. Your community is awesome. Take care.